It's really windy outside and they're working at our neighbors. So a lot of noise outside, I think. But hopefully it won't pick it up. Um, today I thought to do a monochromatic look. And yeah, I got inspired of the MAC uh, collection that's going to come up with monochromatic uh, uh, products. And what is really good with that line, or whatever you call it, is that you don't have to buy the whole bundle kind of of the, let's say, of the violet colors, of the pink colors or red colors. You can buy them separately, whatever you think you want from it, if you want something. And yeah, that's really clever, I think. So yay for that. But I'm going to try and do a monochromatic look today using something coral. Ish. I, I know this is kind of red looking actually, but it is, if you put it close to red, it's really coral, like a bright coral. So this color that I have on my nails is 247 from Essie. What is it called? Essie Panema. It's an old color from a summer collection, I believe. A really bright reddish coral like that. Pinkish coral. Now this uh, nail polish is almost uh, one quarter, but I did put twice on. But yeah, it's really a good one. So this is a aloof uh, from MAC. I got it as a gift of purchase. It's, it's a color that's too light that I wouldn't have chosen, you know, to buy it, but it's too, too light by itself. So I thought about using these, um, at least these three colors, two matte ones and this a little bit with shimmer from Il Maquillage. And it's from a bigger palette like this that I put together myself years ago. So this one here is one I have here on my middle finger. And I think I took, yeah, this one here and then this one here with some sheen. So those three to make kind of a monochromatic look like that. Okay, so I used the 24 hour uh, lid primer from Smashbox and yeah, well, I will just start to take a fluffy brush. So I will start, of course, with a matte one in the crease, I think. It's probably the most useful thing to do. This lighter one here in the crease with a fluffy brush. And probably under eye as well. And I hope this won't be too annoying with my long bangs, you know. Ooh, those are very pigmented. Like, I need to use them on both eyes in one time. Like that. So that's that one in the crease. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit more here since I made the other one stronger. Uh, yeah, easier to put on and to take off, they say. So I'm strictly going to this one, which is really more coral than peach. Same brush and almost over it but a little bit more down now you can see that this one is much more like pink than the other one even though it's not pink of course it, i think this one is a true coral now and the color of the year kind of pantone color is a coral kind of color this year i suppose i don't know if it's something similar to this one maybe more than the first one at least the first one is a bit more peachy muted so it might be something close to this color so i think i should take this color all over maybe with the fluffy brush that it won't be so packed on and then put just a shimmer color here in the middle somewhere okay so maybe something like this a little bit stronger down here Okay, I need a smaller brush and go under the eye with it. Okay, I'm beginning with the first color that I used under the eye. Okay, so now I'm going back over to this brighter color. So I used this one first and now this one. So same thing, just over it. Start to look pretty strange. Let's see what it will be like in the end. Maybe I can use just some uh, brown. I don't want to use black because I did a... Uh, monochromatic look using red colors like I actually used these red here with some black and it became so harsh on me that it was like maybe I will put a few pictures up just you know 
to show a monochromatic look with reds but I'm not going to show the whole video because yeah the whole thing doesn't really look good. I mean just in a few you know you can just see the colors looking nice but if you see all of it together I didn't like it so I'm just taking a really soft clean brush going and blending it out finally a bit excuse this situation here thing is if I put it too much to the side it will just stay there in the end so now it's time for this shimmer I think I could mix both of them together actually let's see or oh, the other one is too pink maybe yeah, it's pretty pink this one but if I mix them together do I get a little bit of a lighter thing yeah I think I will mix them together and get a color like this so I will do that okay so I'm mixing these two together to get a little bit of a middle color why not take all three of them together actually these all are very close to each other in a way just going from pink to a golden you know so that kind of color that's what I will put together and I suppose I will take it just here in the middle then doesn't really show up so much because it's so close to each other all the colors I mean that's the whole thing with monochromatic that it's very close to each other something like that and now we probably take a little bit here under eye as well I'm trying to make this like a really easy look because I tend to go so easily overboard with the colors and you know overdo them and then it's just too much a little bit under the eye I will use this uh, dark brown from uh, Guerlain Duo like that so this is a really creamy and nice brown I will use this one from uh, Guerlain a little bit at least at least close to my lashes you know kind of stamp it in over there to begin with little bit higher up maybe yeah, it will be nice with brown with this kind of look I think also under eye a bit at least and then I have to connect it here a bit too without really you know attempting for wings or anything like that since there's wrinkles and eh. then I will take I think this brush that I used already so I took the same brush that I used before and I'm just taking a little bit more on this brush of this brown just to soften it a bit that it won't be so liner looking just to have a soft look and it kind of blends nicely actually with this color too so under the eye a little bit more color on the brush just to not have that line eyeline look eyeliner look I mean and a little bit let it go in like that so I'm pulling it out a bit like always just to get it a little bit you know further out in a triangle thing over there where I have this kind of a dip nowadays in my eye over there and it's like a golden brown this one really pretty so I use this uh, brood uh, from uh, Smashbox in the waterlines I will just take this same brush that I used before to soften between these two here the brown and the coral a little bit under the eye as well Okay, so for inner corner, I'm taking this uh, Natasha Denone Ten Eyeshadow Palette and I'm using this, uh, I think this one by itself, the golden color here. 
it's a really pretty inner corner highlight kind of thing also it won't be all of it completely like this color now then I'm not using a lot either I'm just going really like kind of close to the line here like that and really where I didn't use anything else pretty much I think now for the middle I'm not that impressed so I'm taking this one here from the same palette a little bit with my finger it's a much like brighter kind of thing yeah that's better get a little bit more light in the middle over there like that and by the way this palette if you have mature eyes it's really all of them are satin so you don't get shimmer or anything like that if you don't like it they really just nice smooth satin colors so highly recommend that one especially for mature eyes i know i'm not sponsored that would be nice actually but okay so i got color now everywhere i'm gonna have to clean this up and i have to say i'm not too impressed with this um, pencil that i'm used it's like you can hardly see it it's a nice color like also a yellowy brown but it doesn't give a lot of pigment on the waterline hmm. well anyway i will clean this up and be back okay so i used this uh, clinique uh, loose powder to set everything with and um, I don't think it's powder I will repurchase. It's okay, but it does have a little bit too much color in it. Even if it does, it does say um, zero two transparency. But you know, it does have some color in it, and I prefer the Shiseido one and the Vichy Derma Blend that are without color completely. What should I use now then? Should I use this on the cheeks? Or should I take maybe one of those a little bit more neutral colors for the cheeks? I mean, that also goes in the same, you know. Oh, that's a bit dark looking. What if I take those two together? I think that might be a good idea. Let's blend them together and then you get a thing like this. Let me try that. I will try that. A little bit of a fluffier brush. Now I did use this one before, so it's not clean, clean, but it's also, you know, it's okay. So I'm taking these two. Pretty neutral, this one. And let's just, now we go really easily in here with this, not too, much I think at least can it be good something like that and then I will blend it with something else because I think it's not blended enough like this okay so I'm just sweeping some of this these two colors and then I will blend it with something else I don't know for some reason I go my nose like it needs something I'm taking this one by itself like a little bit of a contour kind of color it is a color like that so it's pretty cool for really light contouring just here where it's like could use some <laughs> even though I know I'm, I'm red and I have a lot of color on my on my neck like hmm, yeah well anyways that's that and now then, this color here, I, it's one of my favorite uh, for the cheeks. And now I don't have names on those or anything, but I don't see any in maquillage color going on on the internet much. So I don't think there's any use even. It doesn't help because I don't have them. So, you know, that's just it. But that's a, a coral kind of pink, let's say. This one I used on the eyes and this one I used on the eyes. So you can see, you know, and this one on the cheeks now then. So I will add a little bit of this one, just to make it a little bit more pink here. Something like that. And I see I have a 
like a dark spot on my nose. So I use this um, Shiseido powder that I have like a, uh, a matte uh, blush, loose blush in it to make it like a really nice pink color under the eye, like that. It's a light, light pink color under the eye. I like using this one and yeah, because it really sets in my wrinkles over there already. Okay, so for highlight uh, or sheen, let's say on the cheeks, I will use this Duo Glow from Natasha in uh, Alba. And it's exactly this kind of a color like that. So I will take that one. Again, I'm using a brush like this and it's washed so it looks a bit funky, but there, now it's a bit more fluffy. And this one now then, I will use it as a kind of a topper, but not to go too close here because it's a little bit darker. It has a lot of color in it as well. So I will just, you know, kind of use it as a topper and a little bit to give a sheen here. I think I will take it a little bit in here actually. Why not? Just using, I will use the bigger fluffier brush that doesn't have anything on it. And I will just go inside here a bit. As a sheen like that. Okay, so I lined the lips with this uh, Poppy from Il Maquillage and it's a really light coral like that. And a little bit of this uh, Dior lipstick in 023 Massette. It's an old color like that. It's not one of my favorites by itself because it's a bit more yellowish, you can see, a bit more yellowish um, coral pink like that. Uh, but together, you know, with something else or really like a thin layer. And I use it uh, together with this one also from Dior. I can't read what's on it, but it's this color from those kind of lip, liquid lipsticks, I believe, like that. So this one is darker and a bit more user friendly, I think, than this for me. You can see that this one is very yellow toned. So I use this one a little bit on top and then it gets a little bit nicer color for me at least, I think. Those are very comfortable on the lips actually. I didn't use it all the time. It's the only one I have from those, I think, yeah. I'm not uh, a big fan of liquid lipsticks altogether. I prefer a usual, you know, old fashioned lipstick, but some of them are okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with this monochromatic coral kind of look. And I actually really like the result much more than I thought I will. I thought it won't look good uh, at all with my hair color. But because I have some gold, maybe it makes it a little bit more doable for me. So have a really good day and enjoy all your colors. And why not do a monochromatic look? I mean, it's the most uh, easy thing to do. And I really like it. I have to say I really like it. Did